Welcome to Electron Line. Now we're going to take a look at connections. Connections between structures and their supporting environment. For example, walls, surfaces, guides, rails, things like that. And how the objects are connected to it depends upon how the force and moments will act at those particular locations. The first set we're going to talk about are the easy ones. They're called the rollers, the rockers, and frictionless surfaces. In each single case, the force, the reactionary force between the object being supported and then the supporting environment such as the floor or for example guide rails or something like that is that the forces always are perpendicular to the, to the surface. For example in this case when you have rollers like this the force acting back by the surface here would be perpendicular to the surface. Here between the rollers since it's supporting all the weight in this case on the bottom surface the top surface is simply for guidance then we know that the force acts in this direction so every, all the weight on this beam regardless of how the weight is, is uh, how the beam is directed the force will always be perpendicular to the surface over here on a rocker where the ro it can rock back and forth again we know that the force therefore acts perpendicular to the surface and here when we have the case and this is always kind of odd sometimes when you think about it but even though if there's a force direct directed like this because of the way it's contacting the surface and there's no friction whatsoever the only force that you can have at the surface is again perpendicular to the surface so in each of these four cases you know now that the force will always be perpendicular which is a big help when you try to figure out what's happening at the various touch locations or connection locations between the object and the supporting environment so this is the first type now let's, to, let's come back with a second video on how we look at things where there's actually friction and there's also different ways of connecting the object to the walls or to the, uh, to the uh, beams, supporting beams and so forth. Alright, so stay tuned and we'll see what the others look like. 